And what originally attracted you to uh, your character in Harry Potter? Um, I don't know. I, d I did it really with fingers very crossed because, uh, uh, of course, when uh, they started to film them, she, no way had she finished writing them. And so, of all the characters, it was not possible to know how it ended and what exactly his agenda was. Uh, and for those people who have not got that far, I won't be telling you. Right? <laughs> On that note, could you give the audience a teaser for the upcoming Harry Potter film? It's the last one. <laughs> Anything further to whet people's appetite this evening? Um, no, I, I won't actually, because the whole point about it and is is people wondering what happens next, and so I've always resisted it. You never know anywhere when you're in a public place and start talking about this thing, who, just whose relationship with that series of books you're going to ruin. So I'd leave it in a private place. Did everybody hear that question? Uh, I'm, I'm just being asked that. There have been, well, uh, uh, one, four directors that have been on the Harry Potter series and, and whether that's affected the way I played it or whether it's changed. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I think I've worked with, I hadn't worked with Chris Columbus before, I've now been, been working on three of them with David Yates. I had worked with Alfonso Cuaron before and I had worked with Mike Newell before. Um, all of them are directors who involve the actors and so it's a conversation and I think it would be crazy of a director not to know that they're part of something that already exists and uh, and that they're going to inherit a lot of things from the actors um, so it's just a question of developing it and having an ongoing conversation <laughs>